Hey guys, it's me again. So welcome to Nerd Cheek. I wanna do a quick video just talking about a couple things real quickly that can help you with how you do your home theater and your home video kinds of things. Um, so if you're noticing speed issues and you're on a wired network or a wireless network, different things have different um, bearings on the network. Let's talk about a wired network. If you have um, a little switch hooked up to your network and that switch has got you know cables running in and out of it to the modem and then maybe it's going somewhere else like a printer through the wires and then maybe you've connected in like a Wi-Fi hub to the switch there's some terms you kind of want to look for to make sure you've got the right speed so the first thing is this make sure your switch says gigabit this one says pro safe five port gigabit switch a gigabit is important so we can talk about what the speed is with the gigabit um, switch and we can talk about what the numbers are but that's really going to be confusing i'll do that on another video all i want to say is if you're using anything that's a pass through a switch a hub an access point make sure it's as fast as possible so get a gigabit switch make sure that the gigabit is on it if you're seeing it say 10 100 10 100 is slow a lot of folks out there are using these in their house, in their office, or whatever. If you don't see 10, 100, 1,000, it's not a gigabit. It should say 1,000. That's gonna be the fastest speed. Here's the other thing that can slow things down, the wires. So maybe you have wires in your wall. If you're in an office and you've got wiring in the wall that's Cat5 or Cat5e instead of something that says Cat6, this is a Category 6 cable. It actually says Cat6 on it. On those little words that are hard to read, so right there, it says Cat6. You can't see it because they're little teeny words. But there's little words on there. It says Category 6 or Cat6 cable. Cat6 is not the highest category, but it is the best that you'll need for right now. And if you've got wiring in your walls that goes back five, seven years or something like that or more, it's going to be Cat5 cable. Here's the thing. If you've got ports in your wall and you've got them down, say, at the base level of your wall and they're within a foot of um, like an outlet or electrical outlet, that's gonna slow your speed down. So if you're noticing that your stuff doesn't come through or it keeps you know spinning, or maybe you're at an office and it's not working well, it's because maybe the outlets, the electrical outlets are too close to, they're within a foot of the wiring. And if it's category five or category five E wiring, that's gonna cause all kinds of issues when there are brownouts or blackouts or anything else. When there's a power surge, it will literally affect the transmission of data through those wires. Now, what's that mean for your Wi-Fi? Well, if you've got a great Wi-Fi hub that's fairly new and it's 2.4 gigahertz or better, great. But if your wiring that's wiring it between that Wi-Fi to your modem is category five wiring, and it's not Cat6, you're not getting the best value out of your speed. So make sure you've got the right wiring, Category 6 wiring. If your wiring's in the wall and it's old, maybe you wanna go to a wireless access point and make sure you got Category 6 wiring. And if you're at your house or office and <clears throat> your switches aren't gigabit, and they don't say 10, 100, 1000 like that one does in little letters, then you want to do something about that and get the right kind. So that's my tips for today. If you want to get the most out of your speed at your home um, theater system or in your office and you're seeing a lot of spinning and you're like, I've got really fast internet, but it never works fast enough. Netflix is slow. Check your wiring. Check your switches. Check your um, anything attached to your modems, routers, that kind of thing, and make sure you're using the best you can. That's my suggestions for today. Enjoy, and don't forget to subscribe to Nerd Cheek and share this if it helps.